so hi all welcome to our youtube channel and uh, in the previous few videos we have discussed about what classes and objects uh, functions uh, we have discussed about python data structures like lists dictionaries sets and tuples so we have discussed all of these the basic levels the basically beginner level of uh, python or right, python programming uh, from this time onwards we will be doing what we will be basically uh, starting our numpy series all right we'll be starting our numpy series and we will be di uh, discussing what so basically numpy comes under what uh, numpy comes under python for data science all right so this is what it is numpy comes under what python for data science so uh, from here on starts our what uh, our data science journey with respect to what with respect to python all right so this is what it is. So on uh, NumPy, we will discuss about NumPy. So let me, before we discuss about NumPy, let me go to what? Let me go to pypi.org. That is your pypy.org. It has basically the information for all the packages, uh, the all the packages that are in Python. All right, and especially the package, the important package, which is your NumPy. So this is what uh, it is about NumPy. We have. Uh, these people who maintain numpy all right if you want to install numpy you can install by, by clicking on this copy to clipboard and you can do what you can just paste it over here but in our case in jupyter notebook we are using anaconda jupyter notebooks so over there uh, basically uh, installation of python is not needed because it already comes what it already comes uh, pre-installed so this is what it is so installation of python is not needed at all because it already comes pre-installed in what anaconda's jupyter notebooks all right so next we'll do what we'll basically import numpy as np so numpy is what a library in python a package in python all right so this is what it is so we'll do what we'll basically uh, to basically import that package into our development environment we use the keyword import and the package numpy and this as acts as what well, this as acts as an alias all right and this np is what this np is the object of this major class this module this package this library this is what np represents all right if you want to learn more about uh, uh, objects all right you can refer to our classes and objects video all right so this is what it is all right uh, so next we'll do what we'll basically run this particular cell using shift plus enter. And as you can see, we have run the cell. So this object name can be taken as anything NP, NS, OBJ, ABC, XYZ. It will run even then ABC all right, or XYZ uh, like that. It will be what it, uh, it will, what will happen is that it will run even then. So this is what it is all right. Uh, next we'll do what next uh, basically we'll talk about what so let us do what let us uh, basically import it back as np all right so this is what it is so we will be performing all the functions of numpy with the help of the object np over there when we studied classes and objects we used to do what the class the functions that were declared within the class we used to call them with the help of what we used to call them with the help of objects so that is the same as the case over here all right uh, np will be calculate uh, basically np will help what uh, with the help of uh, np we will do what we will call out numpy functions all right so the uh, numpy has multiple uses uses all right it is used in creation of array it is used in uh, basically scientific calculations statistical calculations uh, like trigonometrical logarithmic calculations exponentiation exponential calculations all right and it is also used to, to create an array to create a matrix multi-dimensional matrix so these are the usages of uh, what uh, the usages numpy is numpy are. and uh, throughout your data science journey uh, numpy is going to be used a lot all right so be prepared for it all right after pandas comes your uh, matplotlib matplotlib is your word matplotlib is your visualization library pandas is your data analysis data frame creation library all right uh, numpy is your is another major library all right so let us do what let us basically see the first creation 
ఫోర్ వస్తున్నాం పైరాటర్స్ క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ అరే సో వి వన్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ పి డాట్ ఆర్ ఎట్ సో దాట్స్ హౌ వీ క్రియేటెడ్ సో యాజ్ ఐ సెట్ వీ విల్ బి యూజ్ కాలింగ్ అవుట్ ఆల్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ నంపా విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్ సో ఎన్ పి డాట్ అరే అండ్ పారంతసెస్ విత్ ఇన్ ద పారంతసెస్ విల్ బి వాట్ విల్ బి విత్ ఇన్ ద పారంతసెస్ విల్ బి ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ బ్రాకెట్ సో లెట్స్ ఫైవ్ కమా టూ కమా సెవెన్ కమా ఫోర్ కమా వన్ లెట్ అస్ రన్ దిస్ లెట్ అస్ ప్రింట్ దిస్ ఆరే let us use uh, print using the print statement so the array has vanished but it still is what it is still an array now if you want to know the type of this variable v1 it will show us as what it will show us as numpy.nd array that this numpy.nd array means what n over here means n dimensional uh, n and dimensional that is it can create multi dimensional array as well it can create a matrix uh, it can create a single this is what this is a single dimensional array. or a 1d array all right so this is what it is 1d a 1d array minus d so this is what it is all right uh, so moving ahead further so that's how we create an array using numpy all right uh, converting a list a list into an array converting a list into an array so how do we do that so let us do let us create a list so let's say 8 comma 11 comma 15 comma 17 comma 21 comma 25 all right so it's an element of uh, six uh, elements of list all right so let us check whether it is a list or not yes it is a list definitely anything enclosed within a square bracket all right a number or a, um, basically your string all right so it will be what it will be termed as a list right next we will do what we will basically i uh, use v2 is equal to np dot array write a over here and uh, inside the parenthesis write a no need of a square bracket we already have list for that run this particular cell print v2 so it will show us as what it will show us uh, as you can see it has converted that particular list into an array now if we check for the type of v2 it will show us as what n numpy dot nd array all right so this is what similarly if we check for type a it will show us as what list all right excuse me so this is what it is all right so moving ahead further moving ahead further talking about what so this is how we create array this is how we basically convert a list into an array next we'll do what next we'll basically see how to create a matrix Uh, let us see how to create a matrix using numpy so let us have a look at it so what we'll do over here is that we'll let's uh, take uh, uh, v3 under consideration and we are creating what we are creating a matrix over np dot array same process np dot array but over here two square brackets will be used all right as you can see i have used two square brackets all right so this is what it is so i'll do what i'll basically within that square bracket the second enclosed square bracket i'll write 5 comma 2 comma 7 all right i'll move out of the square bracket so this is what this is our one row this is our one row of the matrix matrix is what a combination of rows and columns all right next comma square bracket 8 comma 11 comma 15 all right move out of this comma square bracket this is the second row 8 comma 11 comma 15 all right 17 comma 21 comma 25 all right so let us print this has created what this has created a matrix a 3 cross 3 matrix a 3 rows and 3 columns matrix 5 2 7 8 11 15 17 21 25 are the 3 rows 5 8 17 2 11 21 7 15 25 are your what are your 3 columns now if we want to know uh, the shape this basically is called as what this basically is called as the shape of a matrix 3 comma 3 or 3 cross 3 that means three rows and three columns now if you want to know the basically return the out in the output what we want to return the shape of the matrix so what it will be it will be v3 dot shape all right so this is what it is v3 dot shape just write shape dot shape 
the name of the matrix, right shape, and it will show you what. On the left hand side of the comma, it will show you rows. On the right hand side of the comma, it will show you what columns. So this is what it is. All right. So let us do what. Let us uh, basically create another matrix. V four. Let us create a simple matrix this time. N P dot array. All right. Uh, so this is what it is. Uh, let us write one comma two comma three comma four comma uh, one comma two comma three comma. All right, so this is what it is followed by four comma five comma six. All right, uh, seven comma eight comma nine. So this is what it is. As you can see, this has printed up v four dot shape. It will also show us as what. It will show us as three comma three. All right, so this is what it is. That's the basic of NumPy. We will be coming up uh, with more such videos in the future. In the next video, we will be talking about what? We'll be talking about matrix multiplication and various arithmetic operations that are carried out in NumPy. All right, so this is what it is. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching our video. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks a lot for your continuous love. It means a lot. Thank you all. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.